Hey, what is up? It's Lisa Brainier from LazyGaming.com, and today we're taking a quick look at UFO or UFO Online. Uh, it's a browser game, actually, which I'm usually not a great fan of, but uh, you know, I thought I'll, I'll give this one a try. It's currently in closed beta, and if you're an IGN Prime member, you get this game uh, for free, or at least you get access to the closed beta. Uh, once it's actually released, um, it will be 100% free, so anybody can play it if I, if I remember that properly. Uh, the sound is actually quite high so i just logged in here already but i haven't actually started playing the game so let's see how this works right now as you can see there's only one game server because it's obviously in closed beta but uh i heard it was pretty impressive for a browser game so let's take a look at the first cinematic here they deceived us every last stinking one of us and what's worse we made it easy for them jesus christ we used to own this place. Now, we're the cockroaches. When they first arrived, we were so thrilled to learn that mankind was not alone. We believed every friendly word they said. We've come to help you. But soon, we got real clear that our definitions of help couldn't be more different. We've come to help you. Now it's all a mess. Party line is, everybody's still happy about our new friends. Or should I say masters? But down here, there are dozens of splinter groups fighting for the freedom of mankind. Alrighty, so that seems to be kind of like a teaser trailer or something coming soon trailer. Anyway, we gotta choose our faction here. American Stability Pack, Ruling Coalition East, Central Economic Federations. Okay, so that, those are the three ones and they're all a mouthful. Um, this one is in the EU apparently. So I'm, I might go for this or this one simply because I like green. Um, <laughs> There's no big reason actually, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go with uh, with the red one actually. The Central Economic Federation, the merger of the EU and large parts of the former Eastern Bloc challenged by the cultural diversity of its member states. Does not does not mean much, but whatever. Let's create our hero here. We got different uh, classes: M tank, sniper, scout, medic, and grenadier, or how you pronounce that uh, pretty standard classes actually uh, you know you see these kind of classes in a lot of different games uh, I think I'm actually gonna go with uh, scout since that is what I usually quite like we're gonna obviously go with the woman and this is kind of odd because there's mouth and double dot but then there's nothing after that I guess which is they should fix that and my character name can only be uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight letters. Okay, that kind of sucks. I'll just leave it to lazy then. Why is there a masker? Can I randomize? Oh, there we go. Oh, you have to wear a mask when you when you're a scout, I guess. That's how it works. Uh, I'm gonna go with uh. Oh, with this dude actually. He has the kind of the ghost from uh, Modern Warfare. Uh, let's go for it. I'm not gonna spend an hour on my character. Alright, save at the last seconds. Hey, are you back among the living? Lucky for the manage, blah, blah 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 blah. The sound is really bad right now, it's glitching. Let's do the tutorial. The sound is actually really annoying. I'm not always sure because I'm playing this on Google Chrome and usually Google Chrome is not always great for uh, Flash games. Um, so I might try it on a different browser, see if that works better. But the sound is really bad at the moment. I'm just going to put it off. Alright. Um, so let's go to this professor here, Lazaret. Uh, why is it all in German? Uh, 
Well, our healthcare services are pretty easy, quite practical, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So I have no idea why this is in German right now. I don't think that's supposed to be like this. Uh, apparently these are my heal things. I can put objects in here. Um, for example, myself and other teammates or something like that. I'm not sure. Um, there's war out there. War, blah, 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 blah. Task, leave the infantry. Okay. I'm not going to read everything all the time because... Uh, uh, I'm fully healed now, so I can leave this area. It's important to stay fit. Okay, so we're gonna go to the sport <laughs> fitness <laughs> fitness club, I guess. All right, drag and drop your character's weapon from the inventory to uh, an empty repair slot. Wait until it's been successfully repaired or fully repaired. So I can take a weapon, which I don't have any from. Oh, I have this weapon here, which I guess I can put in here and then repair it. All right, and then I'll put it back in my slot. It's giving me very simple tasks as if it's not straightforward enough already. Uh, supplying troops, enter the shops by clicking on there. Oh, really? Um, open the armor tab. Uh, drag and drop the gold armor into your soldiers. So you can buy armor. Where can I see how much money I have exactly? That's what I'm wondering actually. Uh, here we go. 264 diamonds or platinum, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and why can't I go with this one? I have enough money for it, so. Oh, let's, let's take the golden one here. All right, so that's my armor. I can also sell stuff apparently. Um, Grab your weapons and head to the rear entrance. Okay. Start mission. Oh, this is based on Unity, okay. So now it's where it's, ge where it's getting interesting, I'm, I'm quite sure, hopefully. And hopefully it will run decently well. Alright, so we're back on track here. Uh, I've changed browser, Google Chrome really wasn't working out, so I've changed to Safari, and it already seems to be working a bit better. Um, so let's uh, start this mission once again. I actually already uh, tried doing this on Google Chrome, but it, it didn't work out at all. Um, so let's hopefully it will work on this one. And here it does say loading already, so that's a good thing because it didn't even say that on Google Chrome. So clearly, if you want to play this game, do not play it on Google Chrome. I'd recommend uh, Safari or Firefox or something like that. I'm currently using Safari, as I already mentioned. Um, definitely works uh, much better. And that's always usually with uh, Unity games, in my opinion. Uh, especially on a Mac, for example. Um, so let's wait until it's loaded here. And it's kind of this 3D platform platformer, I think. Uh, and you each have a turn. And I have no idea exactly how to play this, to be honest. But let's see. So we have the different actions here on the left. Shoot, rotate. Okay, cool. So I can... I can Go a certain. Can I go up? Oh, maybe not. Let's walk to there. Right? Move. I right, move. She moved. But how how do I move the camera here? Oh, with the arrows. There we go. So with the arrows, I can do that. Apparently, it's not my turn anymore, or something like that. Um, and round. I'm guessing. There's no tutorial whatsoever on this. I'm not sure if it's because I changed uh, browser all of a sudden. But I guess I'll just have to discover it real quick. Oh, here we go. We can uh, zoom out and see the, the map here a bit better. I would be guessing we would have to go uh, to this area. I'm not sure. Maybe we can enter some doors as well. Anyways. Uh, I don't know if it's my turn right now. Oh, it is my turn. Okay, cool. 
so we're gonna choose my character here, make it go uh, this way. Uh, make it face there, I guess. I have to end the round every time. Now it's my turn again. So I first click on my character, then I can see where it can go. I guess that's how you play it. Alright. Oh, there's an enemy right there. Let's go ahead and shoot it. See if I can do that. No, I can't shoot it, so I have to move at least one spot. Deck. Okay, that seemed to be very, very glitchy. Apparently that's my enemy. Um, if I move up here move. and then attack, see I guess shoot is the same as attacking even though you can't really shoot with a knife, can you? Deck. All right. Let's move back maybe or move up this way. Apparently I removed four of his thing. Uh, I did kill him right now. Apparently. And there we go, mission successful. Okay, um, I'm guessing I'm gonna I'm going to uh, leave it here. Uh, it's gonna be a long enough video, I guess. Uh, my first impressions uh, aren't amazing. I mean, the beginning. Uh, I guess it's only the beginning because right now we're kind of doing the tutorial phase. Uh, you know the sound is is pretty bad straight from the start no matter how many browsers I've tried personally so the sound is, is really something they need to uh, work on I guess um, I've played other games that run on the same kind of engine and they have worked fine sound wise so I don't see why this one wouldn't be working fine um, and for the rest of uh, I guess there's a bit uh, well I mean it's good the tutorial wise because it's very clear what you have to do because they literally tell you everything you have to do so even the most even if even though you haven't played uh, this game at all uh, or haven't played games in general they they really clearly tell you where to click and all so uh, that's pretty cool uh, it's not really my type of game so of course I'm not gonna be really interested by it either uh, and usually I'm not I'm not a huge fan of browser games. I mean the frame rate is, is quite unstable. You know sometimes it goes high, sometimes it's really low, and uh, sometimes it's kind of like uh, glitch here and there. And um, also the problem with languages because uh, on Google Chrome I logged in as uh, English, and then I had a, a German uh, version of the game which was kind of weird. And as you can see the URL in my in my uh, browser is actually .de right now. So. Uh, it is the German website for some reason, uh, which is kind of weird, but uh, I guess they, they still uh, need to um, to work on some glitches and bugs, and that is also why this is in beta. Uh, I probably won't be playing it a lot since, again, it's not really my type of game, but it's kind of this RPG uh, multiplayer game, apparently, so you can play with your friends and, and uh, fight other people as well, but you kind of saw how it worked. Uh, kind of this 3D platformer uh, mechanic. It's pretty cool. Um, and I guess it gets better over the time, definitely. But, uh, you know, that's up to you to check out. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can send give in your email to their website and you might get a beta code or you can just wait until the game actually comes out. It will be totally free for you to check out. So why not give it a try? You know, you got nothing to lose except for some time. 
Um, but I'll thank you a lot for watching. Uh, be sure to comment down below what you guys think about this game in case you played it. And, uh, you know, if you want me to continue on this. But I probably won't because I'm simply uh, not really into this type of uh, browser game. So, once again, I'll thank you a lot for watching. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.